Well, everybody's been talking about the Lifetime documentary Survivor R. Kelly, and a lot of people in the industry have been speaking out about their experiences and thoughts on the controversial singer. So mm -hmm. it steps Matthew Knowles, for everybody knows that's uh, Beyonce's dad and the former manager of Destiny's Child, and he recently talked about the fact that he passed on the opportunity for the group to work with R. Kelly after initially meeting with the singer, and partly because they started hearing rumors about his reputation at the time. You know, that was the same time, you know, the Leo yeah. rumors were still swirling. Right. So right. can I ask why he's recently talking about this? It's right way easier to kick somebody when they down. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> in a recent interview, Matthew said this about R. Kelly. Um, the thing with R. Kelly was he liked to record late at night, around mm -hmm. midnight. And what was different with his studio was that one room had a recording suite and the next door was a club with 40 or 50 people dancing. The girls were 15 or 16. They went to the bathroom. Tina would go with them. They did not leave our eyes. Well, let me just say that most entertainers do like to record at night, and it's not strange for him to have a club right next to the studio because we have that at the So-So Deaf studio. Like, you may feel like a party mood, or you just, you know, set the set the tone for what you feel like when you're writing certain songs. But, you know, I do, don't agree with, like, the underage right, limit. Right, right, right. He's doing what normal... I mean, good fathers would do. It's yeah. like, I've got yeah, young teenage right. girls here. Is this really a situation I want to put them in? I don't want them there recording at midnight. We've got to find their, you know, they've got school, they got study. So I think he's being a great dad. I think him and Miss Tina did a good job with that. Like, they did. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, now Lil Rel, you do have kids, right? Yeah. Do you have a, a daughter? Yes. Now, if your daughter was singing and R. Kelly was like, hey, I'm really interested in your daughter's singing ability, <laughs> uh -huh. would you let her go to the studio with R. Kelly? Nope, because her dad is Lil Rel, and that's not going to happen. No. <laughs> 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 you gonna meet with one of the whiners or something? You ain't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't care who it is. R. Kelly or fill in the blank man. My daughters are fifteen and sixteen years old. We're not coming. They're not certainly not coming by themselves at midnight. It's not happening. I mean, maybe if it's Clay Aiken. Yeah, of oh, course you're yeah. definitely <laughs>